Welcome to a windy Triarva Bay. First angling session of the holiday and float fishing off the rocks. That's the floating question. And I've got some ragworm there. I do go through the tackle used in more detail in the written blog that this video will be part of. I hope you can hear me by the way. The wind's coming in. I'm fishing off the rocks. The tide has just turned. I've got about an hour and a half and I'm confident that I'll get something this time because if you follow my angling adventures or my blog adventures in general, you'll know that I did go in March and I didn't catch at all. However, it was very early for the RAS, but I'd just come through COVID and I didn't feel particularly strong and I didn't fancy lugging all the gear up and down the beach. So float fishing, well, it's my method of choice on this occasion, but back then it was the only way I could have really gone fishing if I'm being practical. Right, let's cast out and let's see if I can get one of our most colourful fish on the, not the bank, as I said back in March, but on the rocks today. It's been a while coming, I've been here over an hour, the float went though right down the side and I've caught my first wrasse of the holiday and hopefully the first of more many to come indeed. Not just wrasse that you can catch of course, Got that for a, a beautiful creature, very colourful isn't it? And I must admit some of these fish that I catch I have to search on the internet to find out exactly what they are because when it comes to blennies and gobies like that you get different types of creatures, different species. Beautiful isn't it? Back to the ras and another colourful fish. Of course with the ras you've got cuckoo which you don't catch too many of but balans and cork wing they tend to be my staple diet when I'm at Anglesey. Beautiful, isn't it? I've been catching a few small fish and then I knew that I had struck into something more significant. I managed to get it out. I'm on a place where I can drop if I need to be, need to. Safety's important, of course. I got this one on the rocks. What a fantastic fish. I'm going to say farewell to the feeding fish as well. This will be my last cast because next stop I'm going ground hopping just onto the mainland actually, Bangor 1876. That will be my final game of this particular season. I'll tell you what though, this will be my last sea angling session. As they say, watch this space.